Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel and thank you for clicking on this video. I'm a firm believer that anyone can sing. The potential is there, but sometimes we hit roadblocks. In this video, I'm going to be sharing four steps to instantly make you sing better. These are steps that titans of the industry like Ariana Grande, Michael Buble, and Lady Gaga have used to launch their music careers. The beauty of it is, these aren't secrets. It's not like somebody's found the holy grail of singing and is keeping it to themselves. No, these are simple things that you can do completely for free. Thank you to my patrons on Patreon who are sponsoring this video. If you want to become a patron and support me as a content creator, the link will be in the description. Step one is vocal technique. Yikes, the very word can send shivers down your spine. There seems to be a bit of a hesitation or reluctance when it comes to vocal technique, and I believe that comes from a lack of understanding. But I have really good news. If you've never really thought about vocal technique, or maybe you have and it didn't really work out for you, there are things that you do every single day that are considered good vocal technique. You speak every single day and you've been doing that your entire life. When you speak, you breathe in and then you make sound. Let's look at this a little bit closer. So when you breathe in, your ribs, your lungs, your abdominals, they're all expanding outward. And then when you go to speak, what's happening is you're sending the air through your vocal folds, which are closed, and then they're buzzing together to make sound. When you do this, your ribs, your diaphragm, and your abdominals all work to support that air that's coming out. This is what we mean when we talk about support. Seems complex, huh? Well, it's not. You do it thousands of times per day. Singing technique is really no different from this. Sure, there'll be some advanced topics that you'll talk about in your singing lessons or on your singing journey, but the foundation is there for you. So trust me when I say this, you're not starting from scratch. Here are some quick tips to improve your vocal technique. Work with a singing teacher. This is going to ensure that you're receiving high quality training and you're getting that constant feedback that you need. A teacher is going to give you exercises and warm ups that'll help you improve your technique. Just so you know, all of your favorite singers work with a vocal coach or voice teacher at some point. If they wanna have a long career, and I'm sure you do as well, you work with a vocal coach and you prioritize technique. If you're interested, you can book a singing lesson with me. There's a Calendly link in the description of this video. Click the link, pick a time, and then we work together. It's as simple as that. Learn to sing with free resources. Go on YouTube, find a podcast, read a book. There are a ton of free resources out there for you that'll help you become a better singer. I'll link some of my favorite free resources in the description below. Finally, check out my other videos. I post hundreds of videos on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. And the beauty of it is, if something doesn't make sense, you can leave a comment or you can send me a direct message and we can have a chat about it. Step number two, and this is a big one, is consistency. What I mean by this is singing every single day. Now, before you start to panic, oh my God, I don't have time in my schedule. I know, you're busy. 15 minutes per day, that's all you need. Just make sure that it's really focused practice. Put your phone away, put any distractions away and focus on singing. Here's the reality. Improvements take time. I get a lot of messages from people asking, how do I become a better singer? Great question, I would love to tell you. The answer is consistency over time. A lot of people get upset with that answer because they want instant results. Something that has really helped me understand and appreciate the progress that I've made is actually tracking my progress. And I have a few helpful tips that'll help you track your progress too. Record your lessons and practice sessions with your phone or with a camera or with an audio recording device. If you decide you wanna practice for a couple minutes, you wanna run through a few of your songs, just hit record. Record the process. And then when you're finished, make sure you put a timestamp on that recording. So mark it with the date. Listening back to yourself, as much as you may hate it, I hate it too, is the absolute best way to track your progress. In a few weeks and months, you can look back at these recordings and see how much progress you've actually made. The change will be incredible, trust me. My second tip, which can take place directly after my first tip, is to start a singer's journal, where you write down your thoughts and experiences from that practice session. Today, I sang Bohemian Rhapsody and I couldn't hit any of the high notes. Today I practice singing scales and I noticed that they're much easier this week than they were last week. Trust me when I say this, your brain will not be able to retain all of the information, all of the breakthroughs and all the experiences you have in your practice sessions, in your lessons. So when you write it down, that is proof you did it and you can look back, you can read it and you can experience it again. 
Step number three is owning your sound. If you hate listening back to yourself, that is totally normal. I detest it and I'm a content creator, so I listen to myself like 200 times per day. To tell you the truth, your favorite singers probably feel the exact same way about their singing voices. They may have awards and accolades and all those things, but they're human too. Just think about your favorite artists for a second. Michael Buble, Ariana Grande, Lady Gaga. They all have extremely distinct voices. Part of the reason that they're successful is because they've embraced their sound. Yes, their voices are beautiful and they've put in a lot of work to make sure their vocal technique is on point. But the point is they don't try to be anyone else. We have the same vocal folds for life and throughout our life, we put in the work to maximize the potential of our voices. But at the end of the day, it's the same voice and we need to embrace that for what it is. We already have Buble, we already have Grande, we want you. Step number four, be unapologetic. This is your ticket to improving your singing voice and it's don't hold back. In other words, go for it. This is easier said than done. I completely relate to that. But in many cases, the biggest thing that's holding you back is you. There's the fear of rejection or failure or worrying about what others are gonna say. To be a good singer, you have to have the bad moments. You have to have the voice cracks and the bad days. And honestly, you have to fall flat on your face. This is where true growth happens. Here's a tip that's gonna help with this. Find a quiet place to practice and pick a song that you feel really, really comfortable with. And just let go of any worries or any anxieties or any fears. Take your phone or your camera, whatever you have, and just record yourself. This is for your eyes only. Sing, be with yourself, and just let go. This could be a life-changing experience for you. And in this session where you're just singing with yourself, you're letting go of all your fears and all your worries, could show you how much you've actually been holding back. Be unapologetic. Go for it. Completely dive in and immerse yourself in the craft. Step one of this video was vocal technique. We didn't have a lot of time to really dive in, but there's a video that's gonna pop up on the screen right here on vocal technique. It'll teach you everything you need to know. Good luck, my friends. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or concerns, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.